Have you ever wished you could do more with the Google Auction Insights data? At Google, you can see data like this. It's in a table. But wouldn't it be nice if you could visualize it and actually understand over time which competitors are moving up and down, which ones are competing more on your auctions, and how that's all impacting you? So for that, you need a visual. So how do we go from the data table you get from Google to this beautiful visualization that's also interactive? Let me show you in this quick demo video from Optimizer. When you start on the Optimizer tool, it's asking you to drop your files or upload them. So where do we get the files for this tool? Well, they come directly from Google Ads. In Google Ads, go to Campaigns, Auction Insights, make sure you have at least multiple days included in your date range, and then let's go ahead and download this. You want to choose the option for more options or for scheduling. Both of these options are going to allow you to add some segmentation. In this case, I'm going to add a day segmentation so that I have data for every point on the date range instead of just one table with the overall numbers. You're also going to want to deselect title and date range. And from here, you can just download it. Now, as soon as that file is ready, we can go back to the optimizer tool. And in the optimizer tool, I can choose it from the file browser and then we can upload it. The report is instantly generated and this works primarily in the English language. If your files are coming in a different language from Google Ads, you may need to make some tweaks in the settings here on the right hand side. The settings that matter the most is the period. This is where you select what identifies the date range. So that could be the day, the week, the quarter, the month or the year. And you also have to identify what the column is called that contains your domain and your competitors domains. So in English, that's display URL domain. We've automatically selected that. But again, if you use your reports in a different language, that might be called something different and you'll have to pick it from this dropdown. Once you do that and you select a few competitors you want to look at, we will start doing the graph for you. With this competitor list, you can tweak that and you can add more or remove competitors that you don't want to see in this visual. And you can also use line one to change which competitive metric we're analyzing. So for example, we could switch this to the overlap rate. So that's the basics of this report. But there are a few additional things you can do as well. So say that you want to use the same data to include a different visual. Simply click on the plus, and we're going to put on another visualization from that same underlying data set. Notice here, whatever's selected in blue, that's what you're doing the settings for. So I can switch between this one and this one to change the settings. Now here you can see we're already visualizing different competitors and a different metric, but I can tweak that as I wish, and I can add another variation, and so I can continue to build my report with lots of different graphs, with different competitors, and different competitive things that we're looking at. Once you're done with this, you can print it, and that's probably important because this data is not saved by Optimizer. So this is a free tool, we're not storing this data that you sent to us. It's being used as you use the tool. But if you close this browser tab, all of your data is going to be gone. So be sure you print it or take a screenshot or do whatever you want to do with these visuals. Now, we hope that you like this tool enough that you'll want to use it once in a while. If you want to do that, instead of doing a one-time download, I recommend you schedule it. So here, once again, we're going to make sure we're putting in the options about a time segmentation and then remove the title and date range. And then we could say, maybe we wanna get this report once a week and we schedule it. That way, those files are gonna be ready for you whenever you need them. And all you have to do is come to the optimizer tool and drag and drop in your latest files and start building your visuals. One more capability I would like to point out is that you can upload multiple files at once. So say that you have one report with weekly segments and one with daily segments, I can bring those in at the same time. Both of these files are now going to be shown here on the left side, and each is already visualized for you here. So the date ranges are going to be different. You can see this first one starts back in November, and it has weekly data. This bottom one is daily data for the last 30 days. And I can individually add more visualizations from each. And like I've shown before, I can toggle between the visuals that I'm modifying the settings for. So I can really build a very sophisticated report with lots of different data points. Do a search for Optimizer Auction Insights Visualizer if you want to get started with this tool.